What is going on everyone, my name is Jason, and these are the best accessories for the MacBook Pro. Okay, so no doubt one of the best pieces of tech to come out last year were the new M1 MacBook Pros. Apple went into absolute beast mode with their in-house silicon, and the new M1 Pro and M1 Max chips are, without question, technological leaps forward in the world of home computing, and make the new lineup of MacBook Pro some of the best laptops on the planet right now. Now, if you're like me and you snag one of these up, first, it's likely that your wallet is hurting because, man, these MacBook Pros are expensive. But in order to best protect and leverage your new device for its full potential, investing in some key MacBook accessories can really be in your interest. Now, everything I covered today is going to be from my personal 16-inch M1 Max MacBook Pro, but most if not all the accessories covered could be picked up for any recent MacBook Pro, so no worries if you didn't upgrade to the latest and greatest. Also, links to everything that I cover will be in the description down below. Full transparency, they are affiliate links, so not only will they give you the most up-to-date pricing, they're going to help out the channel as well. Now, before we get into the review, in case you're new here, I'm Jason. I would really appreciate it if you take a quick sec to press that thumbs up button. It really does help out solo creators like myself get a little bit more traction on their videos, so please help a brother out. And in case you're a tech junkie like me, I make a video like this every single week. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future reviews. Okay, first up, I don't know about you, but this is by far the most expensive laptop that I've ever purchased. And because laptops are designed to be used more on the move and therefore carry a little bit more risk of potential to damage, let's make sure that you protect your MacBook Pro to the best degree that you can. That's where this guy comes in. This is the Inatex 16-inch Laptop Sleeve 360. Now, there are a few things about this sleeve that I really like and makes it stand out in comparison to others. First, it's extremely well made. It has a dual zipper design, which makes opening and closing the sleeve super easy to do. The inside of the sleeve is lined with this ultra plush soft material that ensures your pristine MacBook Pro doesn't get all scratched up. And there's five layers stitched in for ultimate security. And the protection doesn't end there. The sleeve is reinforced with a rubber lining around the entire edge, giving you full 360 drop protection, which a lot of sleeves don't include. The outside of the sleeve is also made out of a splash resistant polyester to help protect against water damage. And on top of all that, it looks really nice as well. It's got a really modern, clean aesthetic, perfect for any professional setting. The other thing that I love about this sleeve is that I really like the storage that it comes with. There's a built-in pocket that's large enough to hold other accessories like your charger, mouse, or even something like an iPad. And to really make this the ultimate travel companion, this case also comes with an additional accessory bag, which can hold all the other stuff you'll need when you're on the move. You get all this for a reasonable $31 on Amazon. It has stellar reviews as people seem to love it, and this to me really is a small price to pay to make sure that your MacBook Pro is safe and secure for the long haul. Okay, next up, if you're familiar with Apple computers at all, as mentioned, they can get quite expensive and one particular area in which Apple really seems to gouge your eyes out with is internal memory. Upgrading can quickly balloon up the price. And considering that my M1 MacBook Pro was already around $4,000, I opted for just the one terabyte of internal SSD storage. Now, the challenge here is that I actually do need a lot of storage, all the videos that I edit on this computer are in 4K, so not only do I need a lot of space, I need it to be super fast as well. And that's where these guys come in. So full transparency, I totally got this idea from a video made by the channel Max Tech. One of my favorites, definitely check them out if you haven't already. But they made a video going over how to make one of the fastest portable SSDs, and man, I just had to check it out. So the SSD itself is the Sabrent 2TB Rocket NVMe. Pretty incredible how this little guy packs 2TB of ultra-fast SSD memory. And to pair with it, this is the Treblet Thunderbolt 3 SSD enclosure. Now setup really couldn't be easier. All you have to do is open up the enclosure with the included screwdriver, slide in the SSD at a slight angle and push down and screw it in. Then add the included thermal pad for added heat dispersion, then close it up and you're ready to go. Now one of the main reasons why I love my MacBook Pro is that it's equipped with so many Thunderbolt 3 ports, as these allow for some insane data transfer speeds. I ran some speed tests with this DIY SSD, and check out the blazing speeds this little guy is able to pull off. It's pretty incredible. This is significantly faster than the Samsung T5 drives I've been using for a long time now, and editing my videos off this portable drive is noticeably faster. Now, up to this point, both NVMe SSDs and Thunderbolt enclosures were quite expensive, and look, I'm not suggesting that these are cheap by any means, but the prices have gone down recently, and the gains that you're able to get with performance I think it's totally worth it if you use your MacBook Pro for professional work. Plus, I love that it's portable and can be used for a variety of different applications, 
And I love being able to manage all my editing on this one hard drive and not have to worry about burning through all my internal storage. This is an absolute powerhouse of an accessory and one that could be a game changer for your workflow. Okay, so one of my favorite things Apple did last year was bring back some much needed IO on the MacBook Pros. Now that said, it's not perfect. And before getting this MacBook, limitations with ports was a serious challenge, especially as a content creator. That's where this guy comes in. This is the Ugreen 4K 60 Hz USB-C hub. Now Ugreen was awesome enough to send this out for me to check out, as well as sponsor this video. And it's pretty incredible how this small accessory totally beefs up the capability of your laptop. Now, once you open this thing up, you got the hub itself nestled in this plastic molding, as well as an instruction manual that goes over in details the hub's capabilities, specifications, and compatibility data. But let's get back to the hub itself. And the first thing that I wanna talk about is its design. In comparison to other hubs out there, the first thing that I took notice of is how compact it is. Its slim design makes it much easier to pack up and carry on the go. And you can see that it fits perfectly in the sleeve that I went over earlier. Now, this may not seem like a big deal, but trust me, if you're on the move often, every inch counts. And as far as footprints go, this is as small as it gets. And the other aspect about this hub that I took immediate notice of was the build quality. This hub is extremely well made. It's made out of a super nice brushed aluminum that comes in this very nice space gray color. The cable portion is made out of a tough braided nylon to help prevent any fraying. It connects via USB-C, so it's compatible with almost all modern devices that have this port. And aesthetically, it matches perfectly with the finish of my MacBook. Now, if you're on an older version of the MacBook Pro, it's likely that you only have USB-C ports. And even with the newest M1 MacBooks, there are still some ports you're not afforded. What's great about the Ugreen Hub is that it gives you access to six ports in this very small package. First, it provides you with three USB 3.0 ports. We are not at a place where USB-C has completely taken over, so having three dedicated Type A ports comes in really handy. I can't tell you how many times I've taken my MacBook with me to edit a video while on travel, and I always have to carry this huge hard drive with me that stores all of my unedited footage. And I always forget that my MacBook Pro doesn't have any USB-A ports, which is how the hard drive connects. And this has crippled my ability to edit on the move so many times, it seriously drives me crazy. I mean, there are countless examples that I can think of that all underscore just how clutch a hub like this comes in by just keeping it in your bag. The other awesome thing about these USB 3.0 ports is they're designed to be really fast. With the higher expansion, it can provide up to five gigabytes of transfer speeds. This again is really helpful for me when I'm transferring 4K video files around. It would take slower hubs forever to do, which really screws up my workflow. So this tool helps me to enjoy the efficient transmission of data while also reducing the probability of any sort of signal interference. Now, on top of getting three standard USB 3.0 ports, you're also given a high-speed SD and micro SD card reader. This is another crucial port for any creator out there as most cameras still use SD cards to capture both stills and video. And again, super frustrating when you're done recording something and you wanna start working on an edit, only to remember that your computer doesn't have an SD card slot. And the last port the Ugreen Hub gives you access to is a 4K HDMI. This allows you to connect your MacBook to either a monitor or a TV, which is far more ideal when you wanna watch a movie, share a presentation for work, or get some editing done on your videos or photos. Now this comes in a lot more useful than what you would think, especially if you travel a lot with your MacBook and use it for things like business meetings or giving presentations. Again, most modern MacBooks are only equipped with Thunderbolt 3 ports, which are awesome, no doubt about it, but majority of the monitors, projectors, and TVs are still using HDMI as their primary connections. So if you put an awesome deck together and you're getting ready to pitch it to a team at their office, nine times out of 10, they're only gonna have HDMI connectable devices for you to share on, so this hub can be a serious lifesaver. And what's great about this port is that it's a crystal clear 4K output, which provides up to a full 4K resolution at 60 Hertz. If you have a 4K monitor or TV and a MacBook Pro that supports a 4K output, and we're talking super simple plug and play here, take a look at how easily this connects to my 4K Samsung monitor. Literally just takes a few seconds. And look how crispy and clean the resolution is. Everything comes off super sharp. And I love being able to quickly connect to a monitor when I need to get some work done. It increases my productivity tenfold. And it's the same experience when plugging this into a TV as well. You can see here that I have it connected to my 4K LG OLED television and it looks stunning. It's great for streaming movies or videos. I love getting that 4K resolution. And again, it couldn't be easier to set up. Now, the last awesome thing about the Ugreen Hub is that it only costs $25.99, but hold on, it gets even better. Ugreen is hooking you guys up with a 30% discount for a limited time only. 
All you have to do is use the Amazon link in the description below and use this specific code at checkout and you can snag this up for less than $18. It is for a limited time only, so move on on it quickly if this is something that you need. The Ugreen Hub really is a Swiss army knife for your MacBook. I promise you it'll come in clutch more than you can imagine. Thank me later, pick one up today. Okay, the last accessory that I have here is super basic, but seriously useful if you're a Mac user. This is just a vinyl sticker that you can attach to the corner of your MacBook, and on it is a cheat sheet to virtually every essential Mac shortcut you'll ever need. Now, at first glance, you might think that this is dumb, but trust me, if you know how to leverage all the shortcuts macOS has to offer, it can seriously change your entire user experience. And honestly, there's likely a ton of super useful ones you're probably unfamiliar with, so it's really convenient having this attached to your MacBook. All you have to do is carefully peel off the adhesive paper and carefully put it on either side of your trackpad, and that's it. You are now on your way of becoming a Mac shortcut expert. Definitely nothing high tech or as exciting as some of the other accessories covered, but don't underestimate the value of this guy because it can seriously come in handy. Plus it only costs six bucks on Amazon and the amount of value that you can get out of an improved workflow by learning these shortcuts, trust me when I say it's way worth it. Okay, that's about it for the best accessories for the MacBook Pro. Which ones did you guys find the most useful? Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Okay, that's about it for this review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys found it useful. Again, I'd really appreciate it. Check out these other reviews if you're looking for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.